As the sun sets on certain beaches, on certain spring nights in Southern California, a huge surf party is just hours away. It starts with a fish out of water. It's not caught. It's not lost. It emerges from the water on its own. More fish often follow. Like surfers, they seem to know the best way. Their dances sparkle in the moonlight. They come ashore to spawn. The females burrow tail first into the sand to deposit one to three thousand eggs two or three inches beneath the surface. The males surround the females to fertilize the eggs. It all takes about 30 seconds before the silver sides return to the ocean with the receding wave. Except for this strange behavior, few people would know these fish, these grunion they're called. They fail to turn up in nets and other traditional fishing. You don't have to look for grunion on some remote beach. You can find them on almost any beach in Southern California or Baja, even on the beaches where the human activity is greatest. You do have to know the right time, the right time of year, the right time of the month, and the right time of the night all depended on the moon and the tides. Sometimes predators seem to know the right times too. Time becomes important for the grunion eggs to hatch, but unlike most species, they don't necessarily hatch after their maturation time. They hatch when the tides come high enough to reach the eggs and free them. A new video features the story of these resilient fish, including the latest research about them and their place in Southern California culture and folklore. There's also the story of hundreds of volunteers called Grunion Greeters. They make possible the observations of dozens of beaches at one time for researchers and for those who care for the beaches. In fact, the Greeters helped resolve a major environmental conflict. The Grunion story puts forth a broader vision of awareness of beach ecology and care that balances the interests of wildlife and people even in the most densely populated areas. The story of the Grunion dances in the moonlight.